Longwood wins the opening tip. And we're underway here at Willett Hall. McMakin still battling underneath. She gets it for two, and Longwood takes the 4-2 lead with 7.54 here in the first. Just that spacing is so nice because there's only one defender you have to beat. McMakin drains the bucket. An incredible three to put Longwood up 10-2. What momentum the Lancers have so far. Long wind span, McMakin trying to battle some defenders, gets it done. Longwood extends its lead 12 to two. And that's seven total points for McMakin. What a day she's having. And she continues it, lays it up for Longwood. And that'll be a 14 to two lead for the Lancers. McMakin must have had a Pepsi. <laughs> I was gonna say. McMakin gets the offensive rebound. Goes up for the shot and just drains it. That was beautiful, Sam. Right in front of us, 22 to five. Longwood's got everything they want. Smith to Adriana Schiff. Going in, she gets the basket. That was almost like a dance move that Schiff did, so right? To really get nice Euro step. You talk about being balletic on your feet. That's the epitome of it right there. And Longwood's gonna change his defense, try to change the tempo of the game a little bit. We saw Duquesne do this earlier with a zone to try to change Longwood's tempo. Ship again, too easy. Back-to-back -back buckets as Longwood goes up 32 to 19. Tremendous effort from Adriana Ship. Smith takes it back and Adriana Ship just goes for it, drains it again. Sam, unbelievable. Ship goes up for three and just continues to get it. She's had 10 total points. Kicks it out to Tess Myers, who drills the three from the corner for Duquesne, but Longwood still leading 37 to 24. Smith to Smith, like magic, Sam. That. Beautiful basket by Smith. You gotta have eyes in the back of your head if you're a point guard. Tradesia Smith does, and you see why. Smith is dancing all over these Dukes as Longwood leads 39 to 24. Another beautiful basket, Tradesia Smith this time, just incredible. Rebecca Tillett saying she has such an incredible offensive mind, one of the best she's ever coached. And you can see she's a leader on the floor for Longwood. Tradesia Smith to Akilah Smith. Smith gets it down. A big shot for Smith, Longwood goes up 62 to 50. You know Rebecca Tillett is liking that. It was an interesting third quarter. What are your takeaways so far? I think I really like how Duquesne came out to start the third. Longwood though responded and rolled with the punch. McMakin looking to make up for it and she does a huge three ball. Pooey goes up and gets the shot. Talk about timing. Right time, right place. Big shot for Pooey. Hamilton, oh my goodness, for three in the corner. Wow, a one point game just like that. We talk about that size and from coast to coast, Pui gets the basket and Duquesne takes the lead 71 to 70 with five left to play. Duquesne takes advantage of that. Megan McConnell knows there's such a sense of urgency and just misses the shot and Longwood will win by one point, 77 to 76.